Hey everybody, welcome to day one. Okay, so right now it's Sunday night still and it's super late, but I had a great day at the zoo and then I had a night of preparing and getting ready for the week and making dinner and all that stuff. And I wanted to share with you for this first day a little bit about meal prep and all these great things that you guys can learn and take forward with you so that you can be great with your meal planning and stick to your plan. So I am going to be all over the place tonight showing you a few things that I came upon um, while I was just kind of prepping tonight and um, I wanted to go through the meal plan that we have for you for the week. So I'm just going to take a few minutes because this is where it's at. This is the key. Um, is being prepared for the week, right? This is going to make or break you. So I am going to share my screen with you right now, and then I'm going to jump around a little bit and find the things that I need so that I can show you all this fun stuff. I'm going to start over here on our clean eating page. Now, if you haven't found this section yet, this is our file section right here. Okay, so this is where you can find your a couple of workout options and your shopping list down here and here is your clean eating plan right here okay so this is what I want to look at with you right now I want to go through a a few things about how you can prepare ahead of time with different items from this menu. So for me, let's talk breakfast, right? For me, Shakeology is my every single day breakfast. It's the fastest, healthiest breakfast that I can make to start my day right. So I just scoop in my one scoop of Shakeology. I have my, my almond milk. Um, my peanut butter or whatever else I'm adding to my shake that day. I blend it up in my magic bullet and I'm off. That's it. Okay, so another great idea for breakfast is eggs. Now, if you have plenty of time, then you could sit and make a nice little spinach um, or veggie omelet and you can take your time and you can have your coffee, read your paper. But if you're like me and you have a, you know, a full-time job, kids or pets or you know just a ton on your plate, then here's a couple things you can do ahead of time with eggs. The first thing is to make like hard boil a dozen or a dozen and a half eggs on Sunday and have them ready for the week. That's it. So easy. Just grab a couple eggs and go. You could eat them in the car when you're dropping the kids off. You could eat them at work. Um, another great thing to do with eggs is to make egg cups. So that's when you take a big muffin tin and you are going to, uh, let's say it's got 12, um, 12 egg cups, right? Uh, 12 muffin tin cups. And so you could take 12 eggs and whisk them up, maybe a little bit of salt and pepper, and you can cut up different veggies that you like. I love to do spinach, broccoli, uh, peppers, onions. And you fill your little cups, first spray them down or line them, and you want to put all your veggies in the bottom, and then you want to pour enough egg to fill up each egg cup and um, pop them in the oven. It takes like 15 minutes and that's it. And you can portion them out. I put two in a little plastic baggie. Um, and then for six days, I'll have two eggs that I could take um, with me to work or I can have them as my breakfast at home. Before I leave, I can have them as a snack. Um, those are great ways to have your protein ready to go and not have to make that in the morning. Um, let's talk fruit, okay? So I find that having apples, clementines, and bananas on hand are the easiest fruits. They're just grab and go. But berries are fantastic for antioxidants. They're the best for you. So berries, you can pre-wash them. You could pre-portion them. If you have the uh, portion fix containers, you can fill up your purple container the night before and have your berries ready to go. Same with melon. Get it sliced, have it ready to go, have it portioned out into one cup portions, and then you're just grabbing and going in the morning. Um, snack options. Again, you can portion out your nuts, your cheeses. Have them ready to go the night before so you're just grabbing what you need in the morning. Lunch. This is so easy. Now, I moved away from getting, you know, heads of lettuce or uh, romaine hearts. Now, I get the big tubs of either spring mix or baby spinach, um, baby arugula, uh, even romaine chopped up. 
uh, in a bag. We get those so they're pre-washed, they're ready to go. In the morning, you just grab a handful, throw it in a container. Um, tonight, while I was making dinner, I grilled up a bunch of chicken as well, chopped it, and all I need to do in the morning is grab my little red three-quarter cup uh, container, fill it with the chicken, and throw it into my salad. Um, you know, and you can add the dressing. I have that in a little cup all measured out. You can bring your nuts or you can throw them right on your salad too. You can put your apple on there or some grapes or craisins. Makes a fantastic salad. However you like to have your salad, um, just have it so it's so easy to make or all ready to go in the morning. Um, let's see. So let's go down to dinner, right? So for dinner, again, you want to be marinating these meats beforehand. So either the night before or in the, you know, in the morning, you can just throw some spices in a, a plastic bag or in a container with your meats. Have them ready to go so that at night, all you have to do is throw it on the grill. If you're having chicken like a stir fry, maybe on Sunday night, you just cut your chicken breasts into little pieces all ready to go. Um, if you are doing free vegetables, so many ways to prepare these ahead of time. I steam, I grill, I saute, or I just chop things. So let's say broccoli. You could steam a ton of broccoli at the beginning of the week and have that you know, for the rest of the week. Or one night during the week, you just steam up a bunch. You can roast vegetables. Cauliflower is great roasted. Um, tomatoes and squashes. Um, are all fantastic when you roast them in the oven. Same with the grill. I love uh, sliced onions. I love peppers, uh, eggplant, and zucchini and squash all on the grill. You could grill them up, have them in a container in your fridge, ready to just grab and go for either lunch, dinner, anytime. Um, and then, let's see, I love to have my baby carrots all set in a little container, in my green container, ready to go. So I just grab a handful of those in the morning and go. And then your starches. You could make all of these ahead of time. You could have quinoa, brown rice, pasta, sweet potato already cooked on Sunday. So that you're just taking a scoop or if you could already pre-portion them out. Um, now what I found when I was looking through some of these uh, little things, let's see. I'm going to show you a little video. Actually, I wanted to show you this first because I think this is really cool. This is not something that I've done before, but I've seen a lot of people post neat pictures where they've already actually portioned out their entire week's food. So this is somebody who spends some time on the weekend getting everything ready. They've hard boiled their eggs. They look like they've poached salmon. They've maybe uh, roasted some cauliflower. They've chopped up all their veggies. They've made these taco um, taco stuffed bell peppers, maybe some ground turkey. Uh, I think I saw they did some curried chicken, and they had their Shakeology packets ready to go. They portioned everything into their containers, and so all they really have to do is grab whatever they're going to eat each day, just grab a container and put them in the lunch bag, and they're ready to run out the door. So this is going to cut your tep your time in the morning down to like, you know, what, one minute to grab all your things and throw them in your lunch bag. Um, so easy and so much easier to stay on track when you've got your food made and all portioned out. Because um, who's going to want to have all this food left over at the end of the week if you're not eating it, right? It's going to go bad. So let's go back. And just to finish up, I wanted to play this little video. It's a two-minute video that Autumn did. Um, now, if you're not familiar with Autumn, she is the creator of the 21 Day Fix. She is the chisel in the Master's Hammer and Chisel. And she has also come out with a brand new program that will be launching in July called Country Heat, a country line dancing fitness program. And so she created this container system that a lot of us are using, uh, this portion fix um, container system. And here's how she gets ready to run out the door in the morning. Hey guys, Autumn here. I'm getting ready to run out the door for an incredibly busy day. Little man has a performance at school. I have to get a workout in. I have a few errands to run, and then I have to actually be at Beachbody headquarters all day. I have like four hours of meetings. So once I leave the house right now, I am not back home until about 6.30 tonight. That means I have to have my food prepared and ready to go. I'm going to be honest. I did not do this last night. I actually did about 
five minutes of prepping this morning while I was making breakfast and coffee and packing little man's lunch. But I want to show you guys what I ended up throwing in my bag for the day. And I did it in, like I said, like less than five minutes. But here's where, again, being prepared and having things in your refrigerator, in your pantry, makes life a lot easier. So here it is. Here's what I have today. So I packed myself watermelon and a banana. The banana is going to go in my Shakeology that I have for later. I grabbed chicken. That's actually leftover chicken from lunch yesterday. I already made my oatmeal. That's going to be for after my workout here. And then I made homemade guacamole yesterday. So that is going to go with my salad that I threw together. So there it is. Basically everything I'm taking with me for the day. It's salad with guacamole and veggies and ground turkey on there. It's oatmeal and fruit and Shakeology and chicken. But like I said, there it is. I had everything already ready in my refrigerator. All I had to do was throw it in my containers, throw it in my tote bag, and I'm out the door. That being said, I apologize that my video is rushed, but I have to run so I don't hit traffic. I hope you guys all have a great Thursday. Bye. Okay, so let me come back to you now. So that's it. I mean, that's just a few tips. So I hope that you use this in moving forward. And for me, you know, this has been a system that I've been using. I've been preparing and tracking what I eat for the last 15 months. It's contributed hugely to me staying on track with my goals. And this is a girl who could not stay on my fitness pal or Weight Watchers for more than two or three days without wanting to kill myself because it was just too much focus on counting and calories and all that stuff and trying to search for what it was that I was eating. And, um, and so this was a fantastic system for me. So, um, what I want to see you guys do is post below, um, you know, tell me or tell the group, uh, do you have any questions about prepping? Do you have any great tips that you want to share with the group? This is your group. So share with everyone, you know, what are your best tips on preparing for the day? And uh, I will also post a recipe string. So I'm going to start with my egg cup recipe so that you guys have that and you can use that and then if you have a recipe that you want to share today too then you can post your recipe below there and then this evening I will be showing you uh, what I ate all day and that'll be our accountability post so you too can post what did you eat for the day what did you do for your exercise how much did you sleep how much water did you drink did you get your half an ounce per pound right so if I weigh 200 pounds and I'd be drinking 100 ounces of water did you get that in and how did you feel um, maybe how did you feel in the morning with your workout with your food all day how do you feel at the end of the day um, and that's the important post because that is the one where if you comment on the accountability post every day all week and then give us a nice little recap at the end of the week that's where you'll earn your $25 gift, dollar gift card towards your challenge pack for our next group alright so everybody have a great day and I hope that you're taking some valuable information from this take care